How's it going everyone? Mitch here with my 100th tutorial. <laughs> Big freaking news, right? Yeah! But I'm not going to waste your time. I want to get right into what I'm going to be talking about today, which is electric guitar EQ. Alright, so, before we start talking about this, we need to talk about the a song, a rock band. What comprises a rock band. And that's bass, you know, your guitars, your vocals, and your drums. And what's nice about this setup is that all these instruments are in their the presence of these instruments are all in their own certain frequencies and they can be heard in the mix, which is very, very nice. So we need to capitalize upon where the presence of a guitar is in the mix. But first before we do all this, we need to work with our low cut and high cut. Because guitars definitely have um, some presence in the high end and some presence in the low end, but we want to keep from muddying up those two extremes and to do that we're going to cut in both in the low end and in the high end. Alright, so I'm going to be playing this track and I'm going to be EQing, the, or EQing this low cut and high cut to where I think it sounds the best. Alright? Alright, basically what I was listening for was the frequency at which the guitar doesn't even sound like it's being changed. So you want to be cutting the two ends, but what's going to happen is the guitar's not the the guitar's sound isn't going to be even compromised very much just because the presence and the fullness are in right in the middle of the spectrum. So that's what you hear the most. And that's what's nice about cutting, especially guitar. All right? So now that we've cut both the low end and high end, uh, the fullness of guitars generally are around 200 to 500 hertz. All right, so that is it, it gives it some body to what the guitar is. All right, especially in hard rock and metal, that is a nice body to have. All right, and the presence of guitars are around you know 18, I'd say about 1800 to about 5,000 hertz, and uh, that's where they're, they like to be heard, that's where they're, they sit inside of the mix very nicely. What I'm going to do is, I thought about this, I was going to go through and talk about all this, but I felt like that was going to take too much time, so I'm just going to listen to this guitar track, EQ it how I usually do it, and then in the end, after I'm done, I'm going to explain why I did a couple things, alright? So, let's do this. Alright, so as you can see, what I did was I boosted uh, where I wanted the presence to be, and that was, you know, around the 1940 range. And then also I wanted to give it some body, so I increased at the 500 hertz range, alright? I took out the 200 hertz range because, as you can see, when I boosted that a lot, there was that really annoying warble kind of just, it, it hurt the ears, and I hate that. So what I did was, usually that comes in about 200 hertz, so I, I just put a little divot there. And what I did was, um, below that into my low cut, I just decreased that a little bit, alright? And then, so as you can see, my presence and body is being accentuated on, I think that's a word. And then my lower end is being cut a little bit where I want other instruments to be, and that's the drums. Alright, so that's the reason for what I'm doing right here. So let's do a before and after and see what it sounds like.
So the before and after is a huge difference. EQ makes a world of difference, especially for guitar. Um, you can definitely tell that some of the um, distortion in the guitar was taken away a little bit, and that's because some of the high end is cut. Some of that high end distortion is very, very annoying. And so this high cut gets rid of that, and it makes it sound a little bit more full. And that's exactly what we're going for, all right? So I'm just gonna copy this to all of my tracks, and let's hear it in the mix. Oh, come on. All right, pan this the opposite way. All right, let's hear what it sounds like. Alright, so there you go. It sounds very nice inside of the mix. You can definitely tell that the presence was there. You, in the mix, you could hear the guitar very clearly. And that's what we were going for, especially when we were boosting in those certain frequencies. So everyone, thanks for watching. If you would like to go vote on my next video, please go take the survey in the description below. Even if you've already done that, you can definitely go do it again. I don't care. Nobody's going to know, right? You know what I'm saying? All right, so yes, survey, comment, rate, subscribe, like a boss. If you have questions, hit me up in a message or even in the comments below. I don't give a shit. All right, so stay best, and I will be seeing you very soon. Peace out.